A man from Essex contracted a case of necrotizing fasciitis that removed nearly all of his penis. I'm Sasha Wood here to tell you about a nasty case of flesh eating disease here on IO. 61 year old Andrew Lane was already undergoing cancer treatment, specifically surgery to remove his prostate gland. However, after the operation, he contracted the flesh eating bacteria and was confined to the hospital for a further eight weeks, with health ramifications that lasted upwards of two years and will affect him for the rest of his life. For those two years, he had to use a catheter and a colostomy me bag before he was fitted with a device to help him urinate. The infection was so bad it spread up to his stomach where even further tissue had to be removed, leaving him with a protruding stomach area. When all was said and done, he was left with a very little amount of penis left that could no longer function in a sexual capacity. As a result, he is now taking legal action. Mr. Lane claims that his bowel was punctured during the original operation but that this was never noticed, which is what he believes led to the initial infection. He states, I was super fit before all this. I had a good body, but now I look like I'm 9 months pregnant. I can't even bear to look at myself naked. The most difficult bit is not being able to have sex with my wife anymore. We're a normal couple who enjoyed it as part of a healthy relationship, and I do miss that. Flesh eating disease is normally difficult to contract, but when one has a compromised immune system, which is usually a side effect of traditional cancer treatments, one becomes susceptible to all kinds of different infections. Currently it affects 0.4 to 1 person out of 100,000 per year. The majority of infections are caused by organisms that normally live on the exterior of a person's skin. But if Lane's claim was correct and his bowel was punctured, the virulent bacteria that live within the colon would create a much more powerful and dangerous strain of this infection. Contracting the disease after surgery is one of the most common ways to get it, especially if one is working around the abdominal or perineal areas. In fact, these account for 70-80% to 80 of all cases. The most common solution is surgery coupled with antibiotics, for if left to its own devices, this infection can spread rapidly, consuming entire limbs. Of course, all surgery is a risk, but one can only hope that all goes well and that recovery is smooth. As for Mr. Lane, we here at IO wish him luck, not just on his lawsuit, but on his newfound quest to raise awareness about necrotizing fasciitis. He states, I'd never even heard of the bug before and had no idea of the damage it could do. But if speaking out can raise awareness and stop one more person having to go through what I've been through, then it will have been worth it. So good luck to him, and thanks so much for watching IO. Stay tuned for even more videos and keep leaving those comments down below. Catch you next time.